Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I want to share with you some facts, some little facts about Caleb. Caleb and Joshua were two of the spies, two of the twelve spies that Moses sent to do recognizance in the land of Israel. And later, one of the two sent by Joshua scout the city of Jericho. They were the only two of the twelve who gave a positive report on going to take the promised land. But there's not a lot that's mentioned about Caleb in the Bible. So I want to share these little known facts with you. But before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. My source is not only the King James Bible, but also sources that are listed in the description for this video. Caleb was born 40 years before the Exodus in 1353 BCE. Caleb was referred to in scripture as the son of Euphoneh in some places, the son of Hexron, Hetzron in others, and Caleb in the Kenizzite, or son of Kenaz in others. And the Talmud explains that his father's name was Hetzron, but his mother remarried and his stepfather's name was Kenaz. So he's sometimes called the son of Euphoneh because the root of the Hebrew word Euphoneh means to turn away, referring to his turning away from his fellow spies. He's also referred to by many names throughout the Tanakh, such as Mered, Yesher, Shovav, Ardan, all of which reflect his righteous loyalty and unwillingness to join the spies in slandering. Four, Caleb actually married the prophetess Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron. Five, Caleb also married Bitia, or Batya, who was the princess of Egypt, who pulled Moses from the Nile and root him as her own child. She also left Egypt with the Jews during the Exodus. Number six, Caleb actually had children with both Miriam and Bithia. And a son of his in Miriam's was the famous Chur, C-H-U-R, also one of the leaders of the Jews in the desert. Number seven, Hasidic teachings explain the unique greatness of Caleb. Before the spies embarked on their mission, Moses, divining that the spies would not remain true-hearted, wanted to give Joshua great extra godly energy to withstand their wicked counsel. He added the letter Yud, which represents God, to Joshua's name, changing it from Hoshea to Hoshea to Yehoshua or Joshua. Now Caleb, on the other hand, had to battle his inner demons on his own. He was given no such inspiration or empowerment. In fact, he almost succumbed to the pressure, and it was only because he went to pray at the graves of his ancestors that he was strengthened. Whereas Joshua's struggle was blown away by Moses, Caleb fought his own battle and overcame it. And as a result, God bestowed on him the special title, My Servant. Number eight, Caleb was the leader of the tribe of Judah. Number nine, he was one of the 12 spies Moses sent to do recognizance in the land of Israel, and later one of two sent by Joshua Scott, the city of Jericho. And number 10, Caleb is the one who stood up and silenced the hysterical reaction of the people to the negative report that the other 10 spies gave to Moses, his famous declaration. We can surely go up and take possession of it, for we can indeed overcome it. The land we pass through to scout is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord desires us, he will bring us to this land and give it to us, a land flowing with milk and honey. But you shall not rebel against the Lord, and you will not fear the people of that land, for they are as our bread. Their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. So, how many of these facts did you already know about Caleb? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. And be sure not to miss out on any more videos like this, giving information on historical figures in the Bible by clicking the notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time.